Okay, hi guys. So today I'm going to be going over the solution for URLify, uh, chapter one, question three. So the question is to write a method to replace all spaces in a string with the string percent to zero. It says you may assume the string has sufficient space at the end to hold the additional characters and that you're given the true length of the string. So for this problem, they've given this example. However, there is still a little bit of ambiguity, so I've gone ahead and wrote some tests. So for this question, I am going to assume that for all spaces, even in the front, we will start replacing with percent to zero until we run out of spaces to replace. So what this means is that I am going to find out how many non-space characters are in my string and then take that number and subtract it from the true length to calculate the number of spaces we're allowed. And once we run out of spaces, then we will just stop replacing spaces. So first to begin, let's make sure we define our input output constraints and edge cases. So our input is going to be a string and it's going to be a length, so number. And then our output is going to be a string. And then our constraints, well, we don't really have any, so we'll optimize. And then our edge cases um, are basically empty string, spaces in the front, middle, and end. Okay and we'll calculate time and space complexity afterwards. So first we'll write some pseudocode to have a plan of action. So we're gonna have two passes. Um, we're gonna pass through, through the string twice. In our first pass through the string, we'll count the number of non-space characters uh, in the string, and then We'll use that to find out the number of the number of spaces we're allowed. So subtract characters from true length n to see how many spaces we are allowed to replace with percent to zero. Then in our second pass, we are going to add to the new string. So we'll have a, an output string that we're adding to because in JavaScript, strings are immutable. So we can't replace the original string, the characters in the original string. Let's see if C a space and there are still spaces left. Then we'll append the string percent to zero to output string. Then otherwise we'll copy the current character. And then uh, when we run out of spaces, then we'll append the empty string instead. Okay, so that sounds like a good plan of action. So first I will declare our output string to be out and I'm going to initialize that to the empty string. Then I'm going to say our variable characters is going to be the number of characters <coughs> we are keeping track of when we do our first pass. So I'll have a for loop to do the first pass. Plus then s dot line and plus plus. Okay. And then so in our first pass, we'll let C be the character, current character we're looking at. And if C is not equal to the a space then we will increment our character, number of characters. Okay, so once we are done with this for loop, we'll know how many characters there are. Now the number of true spaces, I'm gonna let 
spaces be equal to the length n minus the number of non-space characters we have. And here uh, with ES6 you can see if no one passes anything in, like the true length, I'm just setting that to um, a default of the length of our actual string. So now we'll do our second pass. So for our second for loop, equal, we'll write it exactly the same way. Um, we want to, and we'll also have C be our current character. If we see a space and there are still spaces left, then we want to append percent to zero. So if C is equal to a space and there are still spaces left, so spaces greater than zero, then I will take our output string and add percent to zero to it. We also have to remember to decrease our number of spaces because we just used one up. Okay. Otherwise, else if our s it's not equal to a space, then we want to take the output string and just add the current character to it. Oops, sorry. The reason why we don't just do an else and we have an else if is the case that it is a space and we've run out of spaces. In that case, nothing will happen. So we'll just skip that space. Uh, we won't append anything and it's just like we've jumped over it and then we won't go on to the next character in the string. So now we are done with our two passes and we can return out. Now, there is a case where there's still spaces left and we've finished looping through the length of the string, but for some reason, n is greater than the length of our string because there's spaces at the end, then we want to account for that. I'll just put, if n is not yet reached, and there are still spaces left. Then we can just while take our remaining spaces, spaces is greater than zero. We are going to take our output string and concat percent to zero to it. And spaces minus minus and that should take care of it. That is if we're given in our test cases, for example, we're given something like this. There's only one, two, three spaces beforehand and there are five total. So the length of S would be five and once we're done, there's still two more spaces behind there that we don't see. And so we want to output that that's just for that case. Now this is just how I'm interpreting the problem. You might interpret it differently and therefore you won't need this part. So, okay, so I'll save that and then we can run and test our test cases. And you can see that everything passes. So there we have it. Um, for our time complexity, well, we have, we're just going through it twice. So it's going to be two end, which is gonna be linear. Uh, for our space complexity, we are only storing it in two variables, so I'm going to say it's constant. So that's it. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions or a better solution, please let me know. Alright, thank you. Bye.